If you're trying to stop snakes from coming into your yard and reducing their frequency, then there are really only three things that you can do to make that happen. But first, we have to become the snakes to understand the snakes. And this is how. Now, Kingston is one of my biggest snakes, and that's this guy right here. He's a central carpet python, otherwise known as a breadling. Now, they're not found from around here, obviously. They're found in central Australia, in more dry and more arid areas. But we're gonna use him as an example of snakes today. Now, as you can see, Kingston is very low to the ground here. So, everything up above is so large. So these guys are just wanting to get away. And so they're gonna look for things also at their height level. Now you can see Kingston's head here. There's no holes in the side of his head, apart from those little holes on his lip. And that's because these guys and snakes as a whole don't have ears. So how is a snake gonna be able to hear the buzzing sound that a snake deterrent makes? You can see him flicking out his tongue there. That's him tasting the air and seeing what's happening around him because snakes also have really poor eyesight, which we'll go into at a later video. Now that we know how Kingston here sees the world and how snakes see the world, let's look at how you can stop these guys from getting into your yard. So the three things that you can do to help stop snakes getting into your yard is keeping an eye on and maintaining food, water, and shelter. Now shelter is absolutely anything that they could hide underneath or in. And the reason why shelter is something that is important is because snakes can't dig their own holes. There is only one species of snake that's known in Australia to dig their own holes and that is the Worma python. And they're found in central Australia, so not around the main population. So shelter, this wood pile right here, they can hide underneath that and they can hide in the gaps of this wood. Veggie patches, if they're off the ground, there's gaps underneath there, something like that. So rock walls, these are a fantastic point of shelter for snakes because you've got gaps that they can hide right in and underneath. So keep an eye on keeping the rock walls in tip top condition. Low shrubs, so this isn't too bad because it's collected, but if this was extending all the way back to the rock wall there, that could be a problem because then the snakes would hide up underneath this and you'd be walking right past, have no idea that he's there, he freaks out, you freak out, you both freak out and you've got a problem on your hands. Reducing shelter is so important and you can have a nice garden and still be reducing shelter. With shrubs, have a 30 to 40 centimeter gap off the ground because when you're walking past, you can see the snake and then the snake can also see you. Now the other one being water. Now anything that holds water or collects water that is unnecessary, so pots, dishes, the little things that sit underneath the pot plants, anything like that is what you want to reduce. Also, ponds. You probably don't want to have a pond in your yard if you're trying to reduce the snake frequency. Now, this pond also has shelter underneath the pond there, underneath the edge, and around the back, underneath the rocks. It also has a food source, which is the third and final thing that you need to help reduce to keep snakes out of your yard. Now this pond also has a food source. Apart from the fish, which isn't that bad, it's also got frogs that are living inside there. So this has pretty much everything that a snake would need. Other food items include mice, rats, possums, skinks, birds, absolutely anything almost could be a snake source of food. So by reducing the shelter, reducing the water, then the food source has nowhere to hide and nothing to drink. And that's working on all three things that snakes need to survive. And that's pretty much all that it is. Snakes are just trying to survive. So if you can reduce those three things, that will help stop the frequency and stop snakes from hanging around and coming into your yard. In this point in time, I've been a professional snake catcher for just over two years. I was also a venomous and non-venomous reptile demonstrator for about three years also beforehand. As well as all the knowledge and experience of people that have been in this industry a lot longer than myself, there is nothing else that you can really do apart from keeping the environment clean and clear 
that will help stop snakes from coming into your yard unnecessarily. Now, if you've learned something new, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to get more nature knowledge and join the adventure. I will see you in the next video.